Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a very awesome day so far. This is Seth Kniep, Kniep in a Real. My commitment is to help you succeed by creating passive income. Right now, over the next few months, I'm focusing on Amazon because there's a tremendous need for help in this area and I'm gonna pass on everything I have learned and am learning with you. There's a lot I don't know, but what I do know, I will share. So I've been getting a lot of questions about campaigns, specifically advertising campaigns on Amazon. So how do you do this? What do you do? What is the difference between a manual and an automatic campaign? What do you do with negative keywords? And when do you put in your keywords? And what's the difference between keywords on an actual product you're posting versus keywords for a campaign? How do you read the numbers? So I'm really gonna dive in and I'm gonna get really technical and just show you step-by-step step exactly what I do in order to succeed in this area. This is an area where I have done very well and also failed and learned through my failures and I'm doing better and I'm excited. Just the other day, we ran an automatic campaign. Then I used the keywords and noticed which ones were getting the most attention and which ones were ridiculous that Amazon even put them in there. And I created my own manual campaign and put in the top selling words, I mean the top click through words. Within 24 hours, we had another sale on that product. So it does work if you do it right. And I wanna show you exactly how to do that. So first thing you'll do is you go up here to advertising campaign manager, click on that. Let's just say I wanna create an ad campaign. So I hit create campaign, I hit leave page. I'm gonna put in Webkins and I'm willing to spend up to uh, $2 a day on my campaign selling Webkins teddy bears, all right? I'm gonna make it run for a couple weeks. So I'll make the start date 914, the end date 930. And I have the option to do automatic or manual. Now automatic means Amazon is gonna target the ads to customer searches. Manual means I'm gonna create it myself. Now there's a good and a bad reason for doing either, but I always start with automatic because it'll later give me data that helps me to create manual, which is much more like a sniper versus shotgun approach. So I do that, I continue to next step, and now I'm gonna add my name, Webkins Frog, how's that? Um, my default bid I'm gonna say is gonna be $1. Again, this means what's the default that I'm willing to spend per bid. It does not mean I have to spend this much, it just means how much I'm willing. So if there's a ton of competition out there and someone else is willing to pay $1.25, the ad might pop up for them when someone searches something and not for me. But usually when you're around a dollar, you're safe, okay? Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna search Webkins. I'm gonna find it, found it. I click select, go down here, hit save and finish and my ad is created, and that's it. It's very, very simple, very easy, nothing complicated at all. But, okay, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that as you create your manual ad. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the actual ad that you created, and this is going to give you a thing called a download search term report. It's about right in the middle of your page. You're gonna click on that. Now remember, this is something that I already ran. And, and as you, if you look right here, okay, I spent $5.23, and I had $46 in sales. 11% is my ACOS. What does that mean? It's simply my total spent divided by my total sales. In other words, 11 per, so of the money I made of these $46, 11% of it was spent on ads. Another way to do that is if I go 0.11 times 46, you can see the answer is $5 and six pennies. So if I spent $5 and 23 cents, that brought me to 46 dollars in sales. You want this to be a low number. If it was 100%, that means I spent $46 and I made 46 in sales. All right, so now I'm going to click on download search term report and I'm going to hit request report. And right here, see where it says download? I'm gonna click on download. And there we go. And now it is downloaded the report into my downloads folder. Once it downloads into your download folder, I encourage you to open it in numbers or Excel because if it opens in Word or pages or text edit, the information is very confused. So notice when customers search for toy new, that was what they searched for in amazon.com. It's considered a broad search. That means if they typed in to new toys or toys that are new, it still would have applied because it's a broad search. Their automatic targeting, their automatic campaign only does broad searches, it won't do exact matches. Okay, and it shows you the last day of impression. How many impressions? This means how many times that ad popped up. And so five times it popped up, one time someone actually clicked on it. So your click-through rate is 20% because one is 20% of five. So that's the 20% of the time it popped up, someone clicked on it. That's an extremely high click-through rate, guys. That means toy new is got a lot of potential, okay? The problem though is it's not very specific. It's super broad. So someone's not looking for these kinds of teddies, but something else like Mickey Mouse, you know, or a Batman teddy, if there is such a thing, then this would not turn into a sale. The money I spent was 99 cents on that ad. So on average, that's how much I'm spending every time they click. 
And as you can see here, um, ACOS is what percentage of it turned into sales? Well, none because it did not have any sales. In fact, no orders were placed when, within one week of that click. So what I'm doing is even though that had a high click-through rate, it resulted in no sales. And no wonder because it's so generic. However, when you come down here to Webkin's Lion, notice that there were 15 impressions. In other words, 15 times the ad showed up and there were two clicks. Now, again, that's a much lower click-through rate as compared to the new toy, the toy new. And the total spent, however, was less. It was 22 cents. The average CPC was 11 cents, the average cost for it. The orders placed within a week of clicking that was one. And the product sales within a week of the click was 23. This Webkin's Lion produced for me a 50% conversion rate. That's incredible. Well, why? They were looking specifically for Align Webkin's, therefore they were already very likely to buy. You see that? That's really good. This is awesome. This is less than 1%. In other words, of the money that was spent, of the sales that I got, less than 1% of those sales went to paying for an ad. I spent 11 cents, no, I'm sorry, I spent 22 cents for two clicks because each one was 11 cents, right? I spent 22 cents and I got 23 sales. That's insanely good, you guys, okay? So this means if I create a manual ad, I'm going to put this word in there. That is a power word because not only did it get a strong click-through rate right here, which is good, most importantly, it actually turned into sales. Next one, let's look at Webkin's code. A lot of people are looking for the code that goes with the Webkin's Teddy. 214 impressions, a ton, a ton of ads went up on this one, a lot, right? But it only had two clicks. And the total spent was 26 cents because each and the average PCP was 0.13 because there was only two. And that resulted in zero sales. So I'm gonna go down here now and check out this one. This is another sale. Wow, I had 23 sales from that one. That is awesome. Let me check it, check it out. So what was that word? It was Webkins. Okay, that's another power word. So, so far, Webkins line and Webkins are my most powerful words. And as you can see, there were 978 impressions. That is a lot of ads. Eight of those impressions had clicks, which isn't bad. So the click-through rate is like 80.81%. And the total I spent was very little. I spent $1.77, which is an average of 22 cents per click, right? This is cost per click, by the way, CPC. So I ended up getting 23 sales from the word webkins. So that's really good, you guys. Okay, so these two right here are the most powerful, right? The 23 and the 23 sales based on webkins lion and webkins. What I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to do, I'm going to sort it. Watch this. So now it shows me, okay, the highest click-through rate was toy new. Remember, just because someone clicks on it doesn't mean that's great. And I got no sales because it's too broad, right? They were just looking for a new toy. Maybe they weren't looking for webkins type teddies. The next highest was webkins lion. So webkins lion not only had the, high, the second highest click-through rate, but it also resulted in sales. See that? So Webkin's line is clearly my most important word. Okay, so the one, so the, the words that resulted in a sale are gonna be your number one priority, all right? Webkin's line in this case and Webkin's. The second most important would be the click-through rate if it's specific, all right? New toy, ridiculously broad, I will never use that. This is a great example of a negative keyword. You, this is a word you do not want your ad coming up if someone searches because it's too generic and the chances of someone buying your product just because they said new toy is insane. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here. Now that we have that report, that was very helpful. We're going to go back to the campaign manager and we're going to create a new ad, but this time it's going to be a manual ad. All right. This is really going to help. So I'm going to say Webkin's Teddy's new ad campaign, whatever I want to call it. doesn't really matter something that means something to you. I'm going to do $2 in the daily budget because I'm pretty, actually I'm going to do three because I'm pretty confident we're going to get more sales on this thing. This is awesome. And the end date, I'm going to make the end of the month. I'm going to let this run and I'm going to do manual targeting. Now I get to put in my own keywords. Now remember guys, I'm doing this based on the data I just got from the automatic campaign. Automatic campaign helps you get sales, but even better, it gives you information and data that you can use for a targeted sniper-like campaign that's real specific. Okay. So here we got Webkin's Teddy's new ad campaign. I'm going to find one of these guys. And I got it. So I got that. Now I get to put in the words I want. And instead of using these words, cute toys, that's too funny. New, cute. I mean, why would anyone, oh, I search soft. Do I want my ad coming up and spending money on the word soft? No way, that's insane. So as you can see, the automatic campaign is kind of helpful, but it's just pulling from your product description. So I'm going to provide my own keywords. All right, now this is the part where it gets really fun. So let's go back to our spreadsheet. We talked about Webkin's Lion, so I'm going to type that in. Okay, and then I just hit enter. See, you just, the way you do it, let me do that again, 
is enter one keyword per line. Remember, keyword doesn't mean one word. It can mean a phrase. So if someone searches Webkins Lion, it's going to pop up. Now, this is very specific. And so I want this to be actually phrase. Okay, So phrase means it will match the phrase. And exact means everything is exact. But I want only, if someone searches, for example, Lion Webkins, I don't want my ad coming up. I want it to be Webkins Lion, very specific. The other thing I noticed that helped was when people search for Webkins. Remember this, guys? It actually turned into a 23 sales within one week at a click. So here we go. So Webkins. And now I'm going to type Webkins. Let's see. Let me go back again. What else had a good click through rate? I'm literally just doing this as I go, you guys, just to show you. Okay, click through rate. These two were pretty high. Uh, Webkins new, Webkins cat. All right, so I'll try that. I will do Webkins cat, Webkins new and I'm going to do Webkins code. And the reason for this is Webkins code is very important to kids who get a Webkins. They get a code, it allows them to sign up online and they have a virtual version of that animal. Now this is based on my own experience because I'm a dad. So there we go. Now we have that. Now I need to add my default bid. I would say based on this information here, when I look at how much was spent cost per click, remember that? Okay. What is the average here? Let's see the average here. Watch this guys. I just want to get an idea of what really is working, what's not. So if I go formula, average, so the average right there is 0 0.72. Whoops. So it's about 72 cents. Just to be safe, I'm going to do a dollar because that will cover my bases. That means default bid, I'll spend up to a dollar per bid. Now I'm going to hit save and finish. And my ad is created. All right, let me know if that was helpful, you guys. Next time I'll talk more about negative keywords. All it means is where you add a word. Okay, for example, notice when the people search for toy, new or new toy. And when they search that, my ad came up. But I realized that's too generic to have a high chance of someone buying my product. I only want someone who's already specifically searching for my kind of toy. See? So when you put in a negative keyword, that means if someone searches new toy or toy new, your ad will not come up. And therefore, you're not wasting money on a super broad shotgun approach type of ad. I hope that makes sense. Hope this is helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have more questions. This is Seth, Seth Kniep, Kniep and Real. Can I just encourage you really quick? No matter where you're at with your store, no matter where you're at in building passive income, firing your boss, trying to build a new life, trying to create margin for your family, I just want to encourage you with something. I know what it likes to be in those stages where you're just tr struggling and wondering and questioning and feeling unmotivated. And I know that feeling and I still get that. Still now, even having after a reasonable amount of success, I still struggle with those feelings. I just want to encourage you, do not give up, keep going. If you keep going, it is always the people who endure who win. What will help you is if you endure and just stay consistent, stay teachable, stay open, don't give up. You can get there. I have and I still am, if that makes sense. I have not arrived, but I have gained a certain amount of success that has really transformed my life. And I want to be able to help you do that as well. This is Seth, Seth Kniep, Kniep and Real. Have an awesome day. I'll see you.